Hey everyone, welcome to our channel App Unbox. Today we have something exciting to share with you. We'll be reviewing a fantastic tool called App My Site, which allows you to convert your website into a powerful mobile app. If you're looking to enhance your online presence and engage more effectively with your audience, this is the video for you. So let's dive right in. All right, guys, as you can see, you can purchase App My Site for lifetime and at only $59, which is 96% less comparing to its original price. So guys, before we get started, let me give you a brief overview of App My Site. It's a user-friendly platform that helps you to transform your website into a fully functional mobile app. Whether you have an e-commerce store, a blog, or any other type of website, App My Site enables you to create a custom app for your Android or iOS without any coding skills. So let's get right into App My Site's website. As you can see guys, you can get started for free, so bit, but I already have an account, so I'm just gonna log into my existing account. So here we are guys, now after that you'll get an interface like this and uh, this will not be there because I already tested an app with this one and that, that exists here. So we're going to click on create an app and go ahead and give your app a name. So we're going to name this one just name or we can just name it test whatever. So we can select web to app, wordpress app, woocommerce app or custom app. So I'm going to select web to app because well web to app is more convenient and then I'm going to insert my website here and then we are going to select create. After that guys you'll have a dashboard that looks something like this. You can change your app's name, uh, well maybe not. Let's see if we can change our app's name at the moment because app name should have been selected at the first place so maybe the app name is not changeable but still let's find an option to change our app name. As you can see in my team it's only me here you can also add teams but uh, in order to add your team members you will need to purchase their premium plan but since I'm using the free plan only I'm available in my team members so there you have it the only team member here and then we can uh, change our app icon as you can see uh, in order to change your app icon you'll just click on app icon and you can uh, start designing or you can use splash you can use splash to start designing all right guys I don't think these are a good fit for app icons I'm, I'm not pretty sure how can these be good fit for app icons uh, but still let's go ahead and save it app icon should be a square not a rectangular shape like this one so I'm pretty sure that app icons cannot be like this one. Oh no it's not app icon it's splash so app icon is this one and that one is splash so uh, yeah that that makes more sense now guys so uh, now we're gonna start designing the app icon so splash design was that now we're gonna design app icon and there we have it guys so many default app icons that we can choose from and then I'm gonna just gonna select an icon that I like after that we can edit the icon as you can see alright so that O there is a paw print just beside oh that's why uh, that pet shop is uh, looking like that all right so no problem we're not gonna move it tagline here all right so we can insert our tagline I guess tagline is gonna be app unbox As you can see we have inserted our tagline and now let's move it a little downwards now I'm gonna give it a cool greenish color all right then we're gonna save it preparing your design to be saved Alright, so after that we're gonna click on save. Now let's get back to dashboard. As you can see guys on the design section. So guys, app icon and launch screen goes to the design section. As you can see app icon and this splash is actually the launch screen. So now we are gonna move to appearance and in appearance we have color theme, uh, bottom bar and menu. So let's go ahead and check those from dashboards. So here we have color theme, bottom bar bottom bar and what else was there menu so I can't see menu here so color theme bottom bar and menu I which I can't find so let's go ahead and go to color theme bottom bar starting with color theme so as you can see we have primary color this is the primary color here and these are the primary color that we can use so we the primary color that has been selected is shan and blue 
So we, what if we want to modify this color a little bit and make it yellowish in the middle. As you can see guys now you can also select more colors if necessary like I'm gonna move this yellow here and then I'm gonna add another color line which is gonna be green and as you can see the color line you can add more color lines to your uh, color bar and you can just delete if not necessary. You know it's actually not good to mix more colors in these color that we already have so we are just gonna select another color and then we are gonna go to purplish and here we go as you can see this time it's looking somewhat lookable so yeah, if we mix another colors except for bluish then it will not be so very lookable so we are selecting this color for primary as you can see this color has also been changed so primary color has been selected and button color I mean what button color so this one is the button color all right so button color also changed exactly copied from the primary color there which is not bad I, I kind of like this color that I made all right so button color is set and then we are gonna click on save and move on to the next step which is bottom bar okay on bottom bar we have items and style so you can change the background color and as you can see I'm changing the background color this time I'm not gonna go from white to purple we are just gonna go from dark to purple okay dark blue and then medium blue then purple okay so that's okay now we are gonna change our icon colors can we do that which icon color is changing though selected icon color I don't see which icon color they're talking about and but this watercolor might be a cool touch to do let's change out the watercolor and make it more funky looking all right so border color is not also changing here now maybe the text colors would change so let's go ahead I'm gonna just cut this border color we're gonna change the text color here as you can see selected text color okay so that was the selected text you can also change the texts if necessary but not from here all right so I've select I've changed the text color but I think the color should be a little like on the white side okay all right no problem so we have it then we are gonna go to items and we can also change the all items that are in order I like I can just get the menu up here as you can see under home we get menu then about then watch then content you can also change the uh, as you can see the texts can be changed now see the texts are being changed you can change your text as necessary I'm just gonna rename it to moon all right so renamed it to moon and which website will it view as you can see web url it's set and we can go to settings we can change the logo too and we can also uh, disable the icon if we don't want it the icon will be gone from here so let's go ahead and put all the icons here and make it more joyous and then we're going to save this option after that we have the menu option so in my menu we have create my own menu all right so let's go ahead and add more and see what's going menu item here all right so we have menu item let's see if we can add any images here all shapes done so that's a menu item here now I'm not gonna add more item but still all right so if we want to add more item we can just add it you can select the item type, it is settings or web view, whatever. But we're gonna select the default option here. All right, I seem to be stuck here. It's a weird interface. Why would you make someone stuck? All right, so we had to zoom out. That's that's pretty weird. Why would I have to zoom out, Megan? Oh, I didn't have to. I just had to scroll down. So I'm just gonna cancel this one. Okay, so we can add more menus here, but I'm gonna delete this one because I've added it. I've added too much menus here. So as you can see deleting is also simple then we have contact email call share and we can add more if necessary can't we no we can't add more if necessary that's weird so we have email call but where is the connect okay the entire bar is connect okay so we're gonna save this menu again please select item type okay this one item type was not selected so we're just gonna delete this one these items are selected with view with view after saving we're going to go to dashboard again as you can see on the dashboard we have selected our color theme we have selected our bottom bar and the appearance is done okay so now we have android app ios app 
mainly these are for downloads okay so when we're gonna click on the download button where is the download button so we can just uh, there's no download button oh there it is right below preview so after going to the download menu we can download the app for for Android or for iOS but guess what you can't download them in the free version so you will need the pro version in order to download them so you can just preview the app at the moment congratulations you've successfully set up your app give it a spin here all right so we're gonna spin it on 11 pro max that's pretty cool thanks for giving me an iPhone 11 pro max guys and what else do we have here pixel 4 all right pixel 4 is great no problem app my site is here we're just gonna allow it typical iPhone here notifications here why not all right so here's the app interface the three dot is working and after three dot the setting is working okay so here's the put push notification cool in settings we only have push notification and I believe all of these are linked to YouTube so whichever I press I should be redirected to YouTube no home is redirecting me to my own website so let's click on the moon I'm pretty sure that moon was gonna be redirecting us to YouTube oh yes moon is redirecting us to YouTube as you can see so the application will work very well on iOS and now we have the Android this is the home page now let's see where it's leading us now let's test oh, so this one is menu okay so we have email call share you can set whatever action you want on these places and then we have about then again we have watch here YouTube we can screenshot if necessary okay that's enough for reviewing so now we're gonna go back to dashboard here so right now you can download the app for Android or iOS or you can't publish them either but let's go ahead and check out notifications so here we have push notifications you can deliver timely relevant information to your apps user apps users with push notifications you can send unlimited push notifications to your apps users you can separately dispatch notifications to iOS and Android app users you can schedule notifications or send them immediately you can preview your notifications before sending them but all with the upgraded version not in the free version so if you want to send push notifications to your users for any business purpose business notification or anything else then this is the place where you have managed them so let's get to the chat section now as you can see we can chat with my app here you can chat with your users with your preferred chat software easy integration with the most popular chat software so the app my site is providing the most popular app so chat software but you'll need to upgrade your plan again in order to do that so chatting is not what we are looking after now so most of the features are going to be available after you have purchased the software so right now in free mode we have all these and what else do we need right we can merge apps we can uh, manage monetization we can manage users well we can't manage users because uh, yeah I'm the only team member because this is the free version so we're gonna just visit monetization now so earn money from your app easy integration with Google ad map so you can showcase ads on screens of your choice but you will need the upgraded plan for that too so back to dashboard again again we have merge apps multiple websites in one app Connect multiple websites or a multi-site network into a single mobile app. You can push one app for all your websites. User can switch between websites in the app. A unified dashboard for connected apps works with multiple websites or a multi-site network. So, but you'll need to upgrade your plan to manage that too. So back to dashboard again. So as you can see guys, you can do lots more like uh, publish your app. Yeah, we already talked about it. Publish your app, you can manage your connectivity, you can manage add-ons, you can manage, you can see the performance of your application and you can check your logs. So as you can see, you can do so much more with it. You can, and here is the email support. Uh, submit a request and get help from expert. You can submit an email uh, request to the team and get help from an expert here. And in community, you can engage with other app builders like yourself if you're using app my site. So I'm I am quite impressed with the app, except for some places where uh, the scrolling wasn't working and 
and I had to resize the screen. So in these cases, the application could be more convenient and I think it will be more convenient. Uh, and lots of things were not available to me because of the free version. And I'm pretty sure if you guys upgrade to the main app, as you can see, we have a $9 per month. So we have $9 per month for website to app. We have WordPress to app for $9 a month, $19 per month on WooCommerce app, custom app, $19 per month. All right, so you can do all with just one purchase for lifetime no more paying them for every month every month no no way just $59 and you can use this app for lifetime and most importantly guys if you don't like the app after purchasing it or you feel like that this app is not doing any good to you then you can get your money back in just 60 days so guys if you think this app will be helpful to you you can just purchase it and then if you don't like it or you don't feel that the app is helping you so much you can just return it and Get your refund back so guys if you also think that someone else can be helped by this application then share this video with them and if you enjoyed watching this video then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great videos like these until we meet again next time goodbye